Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to a new Raid Shadow Legends video. In today's video, I want to show you a practical example of a, a previous video or theory that I uh, released uh, recently. Uh, my, the video I'm talking about is the one of how to do a fusion completely without shards. And when I'm saying without shards, just to be clear, I'm talking about without any shards but the green mystery one, which the game gives you literally thousands of uh, every month. Uh, if you're playing the game uh, a lot um, and that's what I decided to do for this fusion on my secondary account if you've seen my last video when we pulled those 30 ancients for a lore I won't spoil it for you if you haven't seen it our luck was amazing there go back and see it I was explaining that I have multiple legos saved probably it's a one-time event in the account but you can hoard at least one Lego and a few epics for uh, the champ chase, which is coming up next Friday uh, for the Nude Fusion. Uh, so that can get you the points with a few mystery shards, even if you don't want to use mystery shards. I can even still use my mystery shards with this. So in the last video, I was telling you I'll open Sacreds uh, this weekend for the Fusion, but I decided not to, at least not on my Ecclesia account. Why? Because... I had, if you remember, I was showing you this in the last video, I had like 5k mystery shards. So I just opened mystery shards only and got all the points I needed for the summon rush, which is um, 2150, you see here. It takes, of course, it takes a few hours to do this because you're putting mystery shards and feeding the champs to each other. A perfect scenario for this is when the summon rush or the champ chase, whatever you're trying to cover using mystery shards, uh, is coinciding with a champ training uh, event. Is the champ training still on? Probably not. I don't think so. But yeah, that, that's like I was saying, uh, if it's a perfect scenario. Oh, it's starting. So I could have waited and done it tomorrow. I would have gained loads of points for the champ training but i wasn't sure if i had time tomorrow to do this so we have that perfect scenario tomorrow if your sunday is free you can spend a few hours open those mystery shards feed them to each other you will gain points for the champ training and you will double di dipping and you'll be doing someone rush as well and that's like if you see now i haven't opened any shards so far i'm on top of the fusion today is saturday the 8th if you're chasing the fusion, like myself, you should have seven copies of the rare. And I won't fuse uh, the epics till, um, till the champ chase to gain the points from there. Just make sure you have the potions ready, you have the brews ready, and you have the silver. Because it will cost you a bit of silver. So, if you are on top of the fusion, you should have seven rares and one epic. Uh, sorry, uh, seven uh, non-void rares and one void rare. Anything below that, let me check the fusion plan here. So we are on Saturday. So if you haven't finished Dragon, you still have till tomorrow to finish it. If you haven't finished Artifact Enhancement, you have till Monday to finish it. Uh, yeah, Dungeon Divers just opened, so I don't have that rare yet. But like here, if you're like me, if you have seven or six rares, non-void rares, and the void rare from the Summon Rush, you should be okay for the fusion going forward. What are the things that you should pay attention to if you're trying to do that mystery shard uh, strategy? First thing is, you should have enough space in your uh, inventory. So if you're already, like, let's say, holding uh, rares for the champ training, you won't be able to do this. Or you'll pay millions of, of silver to expand your inventory. So make sure you have uh, roughly, let's say, at least 50. If you have 100, it's perfect. Uh, but 50 is like, is an okay uh, batch just to do 50, feeds them to each other and, uh, and like this. So anything less than 50, if you have 20 or 30, it will, be, it will be taking too much time and you'll be just clicking in and out of the summoning portal and the tavern too many times. So 50 to 100 is a good space in the inventory to have. Those are very, very important thing. If your account is not high enough in level, is the silver cost. I've just finished the artifact enhancement yesterday, I believe, bef before I did this. 
artifact enhancement and you should have you you should start saving at least at least 10 million server silver for the last artifact enhance enhancement the third one for this fusion doing this strategy opening mystery shards it will cost you like 5k per 10 shards and it will also cost you a uh, silver to feed those champs to each other in the tavern i think it cost me around two three million to do this and now i need to, to farm silver from the dragon while i'm doing dungeon divers today because it's still the dragon tournament is still on so i can do like super raids uh, i need to start farming silver back so one of the things that might prevent you from doing this if you don't have enough silver saved if you don't have enough silver saved at the end of the fusion you'll need a million for you'll need two million i guess if i'm not mistaken I know it's uh, I know it's a million for the Lego and probably 200k so that's like a hundred uh, a million and 800k for all of them uh, let's say 2 million you should have 2 million saved and 10 for the last artifact enhancement so start farming uh, for the dungeon divers dragon is a good uh, uh, dungeon today because of super raids try to have those 12 millions in the bank at least try to have a bit more in case you get unlucky with the rolls with the artifact enhancement event uh, but yeah that's what you should have so silver might be preventing you from doing this don't fuse those champs yet but make sure you have the four star chicken you need 12 four star chicken to rank them to level five make sure you have the bruise uh, and the silver and the potions to get them to 50 immediately because by the time we have the champ chase the fusion will be coming to an end like if we see here the champ chase is uh, starting this friday and then you'll have only till monday so yes you can gain a bit of silver maybe you can pay gems and open the potions but why make sure you have them now um, so yeah just be ready you'll get 750 points uh, for the champ chase and then you'll get the rare and yeah just uh, pump your bruise and everything make sure you're up to date with everything i'm just repeating myself now in the champ chase i will use a fragment fusion that's what i was talking about yeah i was telling everybody not to go for loriaka um, unfortunately or fortunately i'm not sure because i wanted to make a point for the double summon rush that they did and i didn't go for her on my main account for my ecclesia account the thing is i was doing the mission anyways and i just gained the point so i had like 90 fragments without even trying and i just did a couple of events and got her so that's 500 points uh, i didn't pull jetney yet so i went for her fusion i got chronam from my referrals that's a nice scene and i got drixar from the bazaar i also have jimarsa of course i haven't opened her yet and i don't think maybe i'll have a secret room that i can try to read to get archmage but i don't need all of these points probably the champ chase the rare which is all i need well it doesn't have an epic anyways it will be something around 2500 points i've got like 2k here of course this is a one-time thing this is a one-time thing alternating between uh, fusion types you might have just one fusion saved so that's 500 points but you might have a few copy of these so if you have like let's say i won't need them for this fusion if you have three relic, relic keepers that's 750 points if you have a couple of uh, broad moves, that's 350 points each so you can do the champ chase completely without shards or you can do it with mystery shards uh, but i don't think will there be champ training then no there won't be so yeah just keep your holding your mystery shards for later uh, so i just wanted to highlight that i'm following my own advice and i'm doing one of the hardest fusions that we had recently and he's absolutely worth it Newt, uh, without any shards but the mystery shards this account is officially in shard hoarding mood voids will be the only thing that i'm opening in the 2x sacreds and ancients will go for guaranteed champs and fusions and that's it um, i'm not interested in 2x's anymore at least not for a while though this account doesn't have 
so many champs. It doesn't have the developed rosters that I have on my main. But as I was saying in that previous video, if you have five, seven champs and you need to build them, you need to like to farm masteries for them. You need better gear for the account to start tackling Doom Tower hard and the last stages of faction wars. Uh, then just stop opening charts. You'll be disappointed with how many good champs you have without having proper gear for them. So this is a good time for this account to just stop opening shards unless I absolutely have to and just start working on the champs I have. Start farming gear. Whenever you're stuck, farm gear and farm more gear. I need like, I've beaten Doom Tower normal. I think, did I beat all rotations? I might not. So no, I still have one rotation to beat and I haven't paid attention to builds for like specific bosses and stuff to be Doom Tower hard yet. So that's what I'm working on right now. And of course, Faction Wars for Lydia. You see, um, I'm still a bit behind on some of the factions, but of course, Sylvan Watchers will open, but yeah, uh, we will probably, oh, it opens in six days. Okay, so it got a week to open. Now it shows, it wasn't showing when they released the patch. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'll just chill, keep holding my shards, I can get guaranteed champs, I can get fusions easily, and yeah, that's uh, what I wanted to show you today, I'll stop uh, rambling, and I'll see you next time, bye.